Yo, what is going on guys? This is Gnosis, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to get the best or most optimal keybinds possible for all my mouse and keyboard players out there. Now, while keybinds alone won't turn you into an amazing player, setting them up in an optimal way will certainly help you hit your potential as a player much easier and much faster. And these keybinds I've been fine-tuning for two years now to be the very best possible. Now, with the addition of Sprint this season, which is a very important buy in itself, it felt like the perfect time to make an updated video on this. Now also please note that these binds are designed for players using a gaming mouse with two side buttons. You can try and fine tune these without the side buttons, but to be honest I find them crucial for Fortnite to truly get optimal binds. Now with that being said, let's get right into it. To start, let's quickly go over our movement binds. These binds are entirely built around the common WASD movement setup, meaning we use W to go forward, S to go backwards, and then of course A and D for left and right. We're also going to use the standard spacebar to jump here. Now for crouch, we're going to go with our control key. I've seen some people use shift, but that will be a very important bind for our building, so we need to leave that one open. Now we also want to be able to slide instantly, so to do this, we come to the controller options, which I know doesn't make sense since we're not on a controller, but I promise this works, and here under slide hold time, we're going to move that all the way to 0.01 seconds. Now this is going to make it to where the moment we hold crouch, we begin to slide. Now lastly for sprint, we're going to go with V, which we'll be using our thumb to hit. We do this so that we never have to take a finger off of A and D if we need to sprint while also running either to the left or to the right at the same time. Next let's look at our building binds. Now the goal here is to put all four builds split between our two mouse side buttons, a keyboard bind we hit with our pinky, and a keyboard bind we hit with our thumb. Now the reason for this is that we may have full range of movement while we're building. Now if you don't understand what I mean by this, look here. I'm currently running left by holding down A with my ring finger, but since none of my building binds are on that finger, I can place any of my four builds while doing this. Now the same for moving right, since none of my building binds are on my index finger that I'm holding down the D key with when moving right, I can hit any build I want to. By having full range of motion like this while building, we will never be limited in any way with which direction we can move while placing builds, which is so amazing for becoming a better builder and a better fighter. And for this reason, when it comes to building, I suggest using the two mouse side buttons, the shift key, and the C key. Now, I also suggest putting your floor on C. And the reason is because we use spacebar to jump, and we'll often be jumping and placing floors at the same time, so we can actually use our thumb to hit both keys at the same time, which is so, so nice in build fights. Now staying with building, we need to bind our edit key. And for this, we want it to be within one key of our movement keys, which of course are WASD, so that we can hit it with as little movement as possible from our fingers. Now for this, I suggest the E button, although many people also use F. Now for a big one, which is resetting builds. Most of you know this by now, but for any new players, this is something we call scroll wheel reset that lets you reset your builds instantly using the scroll wheel of the mouse like you see here. Now to bind this, we need to go into our settings and choose mouse wheel down for both building edit and for reset building edit. It is mandatory that we have scroll wheel down on both of these for this to work right. We also still need to be able to reset builds normally, so we're going to also want to have right mouse button bound to reset building edit as well. This is important for when you need to reset and choose a different edit in a fight without completely resetting the wall. Now for traps, which would include launch pads and metal walls, I prefer the tab button. It's important that we can place these in high pressure situations, so having this as close to a movement key as possible is important. Now to our items. The two most important items to select binds for an off Fortnite is your pickaxe and your shotgun. The reason being is that when fighting in close quarters, which the majority of our fights happen in, you need to be able to fluidly shift between your pickaxe and shoddy as quickly as humanly possible. Because of this, we need both of these within one key of our movement binds, but also to be two keys we hit with different fingers so we can quickly switch between the two when needed. Because of this, my suggestions are Q for pickaxe and F for shotgun. Now you may be thinking, we're in a spray meta right now, and I also need to be able to quickly switch to a spray weapon to finish off weak enemies after a shotgun shot. And this will be very correct, and because of that, we want our spray weapon also within one key of our movement binds, but we also want it on a different finger from our shotgun so we can switch between the two quicker. Because of this, we're going to put our spray weapon on caps lock. Now if you're like me, you normally run a loadout featuring a shotgun, a spray weapon like an SMG, and then a mid to long range gun like an AR or sniper. So for this medium to long range gun, we're going to put that on Z, which is still within one key of our movement binds. Now these still leave two item slots for our hills. These I simply put on the number keys up top. Anything 1 to 5 works for this. I actually put my inventory key and my map key up here as well. You never really need to bring up your inventory or map mid-fight the same way you would one of your guns. So this is why I keep these two up where your fingers have to stretch a little bit more. And I keep my hills there as well because I prioritize my weapons over them in regards to keeping them right next to my movement keys. Finally, we have one more bind we need to cover which is picking up items. And this one is a game changer, I promise you. 
we are going to use scroll wheel up on our mouse. Now the obvious benefit is if we land on a chest at the same time as another player at the start of a game, us spamming our scroll wheel up will give us the item before it gives us to someone on a controller who's pressing a key or pressing a key on their keyboard. But now let me show you here another benefit. Let's say we just killed an enemy and we want to top off our hills and ammo as quick as possible, but we don't want to pick up the gun that's on the ground. All we have to do is pull out our pickaxe and then run over the loot while spamming our scroll wheel up and we instantly have all that topped off. So all right guys, there you have it. My advice on the best and most optimal keybinds possible here in Fortnite, updated for the new features of chapter three, season two. Now, if there's anything I didn't cover here, like a bind for a reload or something similar, that just means the bind is completely subjective and you can go with what works best for you. So give these binds a try and remember that normally it will take three to four days to really start getting used to them, especially the C and V keys with your thumb, but stick with it. And I promise, I really think you guys are going to love these. So come back and let me know if they work for you. I appreciate you all so, so much for the continued support and until next time, keep on grinding.